So we have arrived in Edinburgh and we're just making our way to the Portions Cauldron. The Portions Cauldron is located on Rose Street in the enchanted city of Edinburgh. Edinburgh has long been associated with the magical and mystical. You can join the coven with their new underground magical experience from only 649 which includes a portion to enjoy. We've arrived at the Portions Cauldron guys and we have went for the VIP treatment which means we get to take a bottle of their portion home um, and some nice little photos of on the photo wall with some props and stuff. So uh, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it, Stephanie? Oh, you're lovely. on the other side. I'm still getting used to this camera, it guys. It looks lovely. It does, doesn't I'm it? I'm really excited about this. Yeah, definitely. It's something different, isn't it? I am the leader of this coven, but you can call me Lisa. Our esteemed founder, Witch Supreme Morag Stewart, together with her faithful familiar Binky the Crow, created this very room, a room for the coven to meet. And now we welcome you here who wish to join the coven, resurrected after so many years. And after three, okay. and after three, take a big gulp of that. Okay, so one, two, seven. Ha 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 very good, you're all listening. Three, have a bit of a swig of that. As our meeting takes place today, we will give thanks in the belief mm -hmm. that the witch's brew will strengthen your power. Since the rediscovering of the Covenstead, we always ensure that there is a fresh batch on the go. And today, during our ritual, you will help me pre prepare the final ingredients for this particular batch. What you have just drank is the jewel on the crown of the Rose Street Covenstead, the healing mixture known as witch's brew. Very good as well. Very good. I'm quite happy. I'll try you. I'll take that one now because you've done very well indeed. And I will just empty it. And she will give you a try as well. Yeah? Let me just empty this one for you. Oh, yours is pretty high, Stephanie. I've got no magic. So put your hand out like so. Yeah. Good right. None at all. Pop that on your hand. You can use two hands if you want to. Okay. Look at that. Already perfect. Wow. Very good. That's what we needed. There I'll take that back now. And you're doing very well too. And oh dear. I don't have any. <laughs> I'll take this one. I have no magic at all. So we have to make sure that everybody in the room has magical potential, otherwise the witches no. will not take and we will have a failed batch. Are you sure you're focusing? Yeah, I'm trying. It has crawled a little bit. Hmm. I don't know if you're putting a lot of, lot of heart into this. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Let me empty you one of these ones. Now focus, all right. Much oh, better. Yeah, See what a bit of focus does oh, for you. It's as all well. right. However, I will be keeping my eye on you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what would you like? What one do you want? Which one do you like? Which one? The red one. This one. This one. Or the unicorn. This one. Unicorn. Unicorn as well. Okay. What would you like? I'll take the blood. The blood. Yeah. Very good. What do you like? I'll take the green one. The green one. So that okay. is the serpent's venom. So I will go and prepare your potions for you. How many times? Yeah. Yes. Okay, right, we'll be spinning the bottle three times like this. Dean Droy Ak. Tap, tap, tap. And as you can see, the magic is released within that bottle there. All right. So if you'd like to grab your bottles by the top of their neck, keep a tight hold, all right. And we're going to spin it three times after three, okay? So And then we're going to see Dane dry up while we're spinning, all right? One, two, three. Drain, dry, dry act. act. Tap, tap, tap on the bottom. And then turn it the right way. And you will see all that magic stirring around in your potion. Ooh. If you'd like to remove the lid, it's a, it can be a little bit bad tempered, can kind of pixie dust. Oh, perfect, that one's gone in. There we go. There we go. Now give your portions a little stir and you can hear it 
just from clearing away the egg Now all I need you to do, you don't have to drink it all at once because it's not a competition, but if you can take a little sip or a gulp or a swirl, or whatever it is you do, that would be super. So you can get a little bit extra magic inside of your bodies before the ritual. Good, good, good. I can feel the energy right. Now add the hiss of a snake into the brew. The howl of a wolf and the elixir so blue. One final component and the mix is complete. We now add the toenails for the dead man's feet. Oh, which Supreme Mora, we call unto you to lay down your blessing. One, two, three, ding, ding dry. dry. Yeah. Morag, if you are here, please show yourself on the drying mirror. Hello there, dear. Hello, Morag. I see you have some new faces. We do indeed. Oh, my dears. I've been watching. I am Morag Stewart, witch supreme and founder of this coven. I'm sure you recognize me from my portrait, don't you? Yeah. I sense a great magical power in this room, just like there once was and, and now forever will be. Oh, what did you just think of that, guys? Pretty nice. Was really fun. Was it fun? Like Dick is learning a lot as well. Yep, I can eat this pasta. And your drink's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sweet's nice. Yep. Yeah. What did you think of that, Sean? I thought it was a unique, cool experience. Yeah. That's what I thought. I definitely think it's good for the family as well. If you're yeah. looking for family things to do in Edinburgh, I would definitely recommend that place. It's a, it's, it's to go. If you ever visit Edinburgh, definitely go and visit it because it's really nice. It's going to rain. And it took about 45 minutes or something, didn't it? Half an hour. To, yeah. yeah. So it's one of those ones that you can just pop into your day and continue doing the rest of your tours and stuff and or whatever else you got planned, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was definitely really good. Definitely um, something fun for the kids to do. So with my drink, um, you get some sweets and I chose the Edinburgh Rock. So you get like the Edinburgh Rock with the red one. And I must say... You went, you went for the blood drink. Yeah. Which turns people's hearts into stone. So that's why you got the rock for. Edinburgh Rock though. It's not just any old rock. It's nice. I've never had it before, but I just, I just had a bit just there. It was really nice. I can't really put like a, 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 a name that describes what it's, what it's like. It's like... It's not a hard rock. It's not it's hard, quite it's like, like soft, sour. Yeah. It's got like a bit of sourness and then it's like, um, I can't really explain it really. You have to try it. And then I got some um, unicorn poop with mine because I went for the Which unicorn drink. basically drink. just a bit of um, Scottish coffee, guys. So, pretty cool. We all went for one of the different ones, didn't we? Yeah, me and uh, Khaleesi went for the same. Did you? Yeah. I thought Khaleesi's taste would be a nice so orange one. And then the unicorn season, one. The oh, that mine? That's that Caleb, Caleb's that's it. a wizard yeah. for yeah. Caleb. You don't like it? <laughs> I'm not eating it. <laughs> and while we are walking through Prince Street Gardens, something's just stood out, guys. So I mentioned these bins when we we're in France, that they actually go into the ground. Now I think. Edinburgh has adopted it, or might have had it before them, I'm not sure, but somebody had a good idea of recreating it over here. But um, look at the gigantic bin. Um, a lot of you guys said when I was in France, um, wouldn't it stink, wouldn't it smell? It probably would, but I think up here it's pretty cold, isn't it? So it's probably not really going to smell too much in a colder country, but I could see why people would say it would probably smell quite a lot in France, because uh, the toilets did stink the cheese when we were in France and Paris, didn't they? But a lot of people were like for it and a lot of people were like against it. Yeah. Um, because the compost is down, doesn't it? That's the like. Yeah, like all of like the food and that, like the decomposes and stuff. Yeah. And people were saying, oh, well, how does it empty it and things like that? But I think it's because it recycles it back into the earth, basically. Yeah. Um, but I just think the idea is great, especially for big cities and stuff. It's and then. It's getting over full. Yeah, definitely. I, 
what really annoys me when I got like beautiful cities and stuff is when you see litter all over the place and it's just like man it just ruins it doesn't it, it does. um, so yeah I'm all for the big bins in the city guys it is speckling of rain so uh, we're gonna put this camera away and catch you guys up when we're a little bit further down and it has been raining quite a bit we we're gonna go to the Scots Monument just hang me over there if you guys can see it that may be better but we've decided to take a bit of shelter in the National Gallery of Scotland um, it's a free administration as well so if you're looking for a free day out um, well there you have it but here it is guys let's go have a look in and see what it's all about so we're currently inside and it's quite impressive I must say Looks like a lot of history. Somebody with the same surname as you who painted the painting over there. <laughs> what, Jim Batista? Yeah, are you, coming, are you coming over? Yeah, come over, have a look. So that's the painting there, by the looks of it. And right here, this is the famous painter. And in, in Italy, if you go to uh, Florence, the roof is painted. Um, by that same person. I'm not sure if it's Florence, but it's somewhere in Italy. I think it might be Florence. But, uh, but yeah, same name. Look, it's just cool. for your mum as well. And you can check this person up online as well. And there's it's loads of blood. famous paintings. But, uh, yeah, I think that's why you might like art for. <laughs> I'm going to show mum as well and see what, see what mum thinks. People in mum's family do like art as well. Yeah, yeah. It's like supposed to be quite a known thing. Right, Stephanie, i got something nice to show you. Right, so come follow me. Can you look after Khaleesi for five pounds, Kayla? Or... Right, come over here. Alright, guess who painted this? Yeah. Right. Look at this. Do you remember when we went to Caleb's DNA um, appointment and we all got a DNA taken? Yeah. And he asked if you're related to the famous painter. Yeah. Um, and he said that this person painted all of like the ceiling in one of the churches in Italy. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah, and in the British Museum um, in London, there is... There you go, just for the record, guys. That's where it was. So we found another one. Uh, but it's, it's got a like, different on the end, hasn't it? Yeah. The name. So there's yeah. bits of same right here, but this one right here. We'll soon know when we check the dates and we compare us to dates as well. Yeah. A, bit of, a bit of family research for you there. <laughs> and just in the distance is the Scott Monument. Get a little bit of a zoom on that. But yeah, beautiful. So we're going to go down and get some pictures on those steps just down from it. So we just outside at Uzen, we're going to grab some street food. We'll get a selection and show you guys what we get. Prawn style. So this is the chicken. Mm, so good, guys. <laughs> For the flavour. Have a look. Right, so we're gonna give the fries a try, guys. See how good they are. 